Holy shit, children. Look what I just fucking pull out of the goddamn graveyard. Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire. That's right, kids. What, was it a year since I first started playing in my mad attempt to uh, take over Planet as the sect of Grimoth? I absolutely think it has been. Um, much has changed uh, since I started in, like, mainly my fucking memory getting rusty. Um... <laughs> I just actually started playing this game again yesterday, and I played through one game up for like the first 150 turns, and um, I decided that I was kicking too much ass. <laughs> I wanted to actually do a warm-up game as opposed to what I did fucking uh, last year. Because um, for those of you who watched my game last year, a lot of things went wrong during that. One, my father's illness forced me to... Uh, to pause midway through the completion of that series. Two, I didn't really practice so my knowledge or anything, so I was pretty damn rusty with the game. And three, I was attempting Transcend Difficulty for the first time. Uh, four was that I wasn't putting all of my all, a whole lot of effort into trying to do everything I could to actually win the game. And five was that I was playing with Custom Factions and the Alien Factions which do a pretty good job of blowing the human player out of the water if he's not prepared. As I was. You gotta actually treat the game fucking kinda seriously, I think, on Transcend Difficulty. So, yeah. Uh, we're, we're just actually going to... I'm just gonna slow play this one. As I said, I did a warm-up game yesterday, played 150 turns. I got a feel for the game and the design workshop and everything, so I actually feel as if I'm ready to go play. I'm also going to be changing a bit of the rules for this one. I think uh, we I had um, Spoils of War on, and of course I had Unity Scattering and Bell Curve. I'm going to be taking these off. I mean, uh, Unity Scattering and Bell Curve pretty much count as like, uh, I'm going to use like Civ 4 terms. Uh, random events in Civilization 4, for instance, really fucking pain in the ass. It can involve Lux Screws. Unity Scattering, Supply Pods, again, your goody huts. Lux Screws. Um, I'm actually going to try and play this one <laughs> using as low luck as possible. Flexible starting locations so I can choose exactly where I wish to begin. Um, world map not visible, of course, and all these other settings shall be fine. So yeah, no stealing tech whenever I conquer a base. I'm also going to be playing with the original seven. Uh, you guys will remember that I had, um, the Sect of Grimoth, the Conclave of Love, the two alien factions... Then I believe the Believers, I believe the Believers, the Hive, and then one other. Could have been Aki Zeta 5, could have been uh, Rose, I honestly don't recall. Could have been Sparta. But yeah, been a long time since I played that. Actually, yesterday, since I had not played the game since the last time I did that, my LGWI, and actually had all seven of those listed that I used in my last game. You know... I can actually load up one of my saves and check. I actually uh, kind of bothered me enough to, um, I guess, these are my relevant saves. Um, who is in the game? Svensgard. Ah, yes, the pirate Svensgard. Oh, this is an ugly map. Oh, whole bunch of automated uh, choppers there. Um, kind of screwed me over, wasn't paying that much attention. And, um, fucking Judicator Mar got the goddamn Cloud Base Academy. And, uh, he was able to consume Yang's territory. And Yang's a really powerful AI to begin with. And the fucking AI just ran roughshod over him. And there's no real power to contest against this guy, except for, you know, Miriam, which... <sighs> whatever. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to quit. Go to new game. So, fucking transcend. Maybe I'll uh, do another transcend game, you know. Gotta warm up some, but I figure, you know, I'll let you guys come along for the ride. So that was the huge map of Planet. What I'm gonna do for this one, just a standard size uh, librarian uh, map. It's gonna be a completely random one, so I'm not gonna know what's happening. Uh, I told you guys of my custom rules, and we're gonna be playing with the original seven factions. Which does not include some of the overpower people like fucking Svensgard here. If you are the player, and you are Svensgard, you should win the game. Unless something really goes awry. Like, if you play as the aliens, you should win the game. Unless something really goes awry. 
Original 7, though, uh, not as, uh, wonky. Oh. I think I'm going to play as Chairman Shinji Young for this one. I actually, uh, you know, whenever I first picked up this game, I was all for, like, research and, you know, intelligence and technology. You talk about Proko Zakarov. And, uh, that's how I, I like to roll. Free network node, one bonus tech. Holy fucking shit. That man fucking blitzkrieg through the tech tree. But, uh, something that I really like is, uh, Shinji Yang. He's pretty similar to how my Sector Grimoth custom faction plays. There are a few differences. Something that's not listed here is that his he has total immunity to the efficiency, inefficiency, so that he cannot go below zero. Which means that, uh, he can run social engineering settings that would kill... Uh, another faction. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select him then. I'm not gonna customize him too much. I'm just gonna name him Grimoth. That'll be fine for me. Grimoth, a new era of struggle and opportunity awaits you. It's time to return to planet. Alright. What difficulty did I pick? I did pick, like, I did pick Librarian, didn't I? Sorry about that, folks. I just woo -hoo, professional here at work. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I don't want to do that. Learn to overcome the crest of man. Learn to overcome the crest of man. Oh God. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking. I think my last game that I played was on Librarian. Shh, don't mind me. You guys are like, get on with playing already. Standard thinker. That'll be fine. Yep, I'll be good. This is for keeps this time. Promise. There we go. Cool with that. Now, uh, you'll notice that on Librarian uh, and below, you actually start with one colony pod, but here... You start with two. Oh, shit. I'm also going to play this one pretty different compared to uh, how I play the other one. Hopefully better and more intelligently. I'm not sure how much I care for the starting position in that, uh... Yeah, there's a nutrient bonus right there, which works wonders. It's just... doesn't look like it's on the same damn continent. Our garble. So go ahead and build the hive here. The hive founded in 2101. Um... Go ahead and have the... Oh, god damn it, no. Scout Patrol comes out first, and then I'll go ahead and insert a colony pod. Hmm, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. In that case, I need to go find a place to set up shop for my second base. Let's go ahead and do that, everyone. Ah, tech to research Centauri Ecology for the Formers. You can go ahead and camp out there. Mount Planet. Ooh. Cool. Alright. Um... I think I'll set up a base on that spot. One, two... Hmm... 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 We'll see. Yep. I like that. No. I'll put it here. That way I can put, like, bases there, and that's a reasonable amount of distance. This, uh, game I'm going to be keeping, like, a uh, distance of, like, uh, most three spaces between my bases, if I can help it. So because that's how I feel like rolling, which means this, the fat horses will overlap. I'll get over it. Um, do that. That should be fine. Should give that enough time to con to grow. Let's go ahead and continue to explore. Oh shit! Oops. Should have done this from the beginning. Oh well. That's not that much of a loss. I actually not sure I have enough money to. No, I don't have enough money to do that. Since Yang starts with um. Doctrine loyalty from the very beginning, he is capable of uh, immediately going to police state. Which can be beneficial. Problem is that um, I don't have enough money to make that uh, change just yet. 
Oh, great, Lady Deidre. You're gonna trade me Centauri Ecology, which is what I'm fucking researching. Fine, it'll help me get it quicker. Sure, walk with planet. You have violated my territory. Believe we are finished. Grimoth out. She's pretty fucking close. Uh... Wait, she only has one base? Her colony, her second colony pod must be somewhere else. Or I totally don't understand the mechanics of this game at all. In that case, I'm thinking it might be time for... I think I'm going to have to engineer a quick war, then. Uh... Superconductor? Nonlinear mathematics? I think that's what I'm after. Shit. Okay. Particle impactor requires applied physics, which I couldn't research then. Okay. That'll be fine. I'm good with that research. Research. Oh, good. Alrighty, and now let's go for applied physics. I might have to bring down the fucking hammer on her pretty quickly. I'll be okay with that. I need more room to expand. Okay, just checking that layout of that area. Okay, there's her second colony. Hmm. Okay. So I want a base. One, two, that'll have to do. I want a base here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shit, I want to get that. So I want a base there. Two, three, meh. Nah. Which means, say, now layout of bases doesn't matter too much in this game. So because you can get supply crawlers and later on you can have satellites make up for any deficiencies on your part. But I still like to uh, leave room. Is that covered in xenofungus? Yeah, it's covered in sea fungus. Damn. That does make that less valuable then. Okay. I still think I'll place a base there, though. So you go ahead and move there. Um, I'm going ahead and have my uh, other scout patrol here move to one, two, three. That'll be fine. Fuck it. Well, I can always plug a base in here later, just in case, you know, something changes. Sure. Or I could plug that base in there. Yeah. I reserve the right to change my mind regarding anything. You go ahead and hole up there. And I should have changed that radically and rapidly. Damn. Alright. Go ahead and work on producing that former afterwards. You go ahead and expand to that base. So I guess I didn't really talk about uh, Chairman Yang's advantages that much. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at him through the data links. Faction profile here. Plus one growth, which, you know, it's not something I'm used to, because uh, the sector curve has minus two. Plus one industry, minus two economy, can be paralyzing. It can be. The underground bunkers, which give a free perimeter defense. And he also has immunity to an efficiency penalty. Uh, he can't use democracy, and... Uh, because of that, if you want to actually get a golden like a population boom with them before the cloning vats, you actually have to like engineer a golden age to like dope up your peeps. I might try and show that off, but considering how overpowering it is against the AI, I might just leave it alone and spare them. Because that would be so rude of me. I don't need that. Build former. You must construct additional formers. Not enough formers. I don't even have biogenetics yet. Shit. I can't fucking build a recyc recycling tanks. This is unfortuitous. And unprecedented. So I guess just go ahead and build two formers then? Hey. Okay. You sure you don't want that? Okay, what if I like take that and... Yeah. Fucking fungus. Alright, so let's go ahead and just start foresting all of this stuff. 
that'll be good. Forests are pretty uh, light on their impact to the ecology. Good. Biogenetics. And they can spread on their own. And they don't take that long to lay out. Out of curiosity, does that actually give me anything? Oh, it does. Cool. Let's go ahead and... Is that flat terrain? Shit, it's rocky. I should have checked that. Oh, well. That was a waste of turn there. Inefficiency, shit. Okay, after you finish building that, who produces the most minerals? Who has the greatest mineral output? It would be you. So, actually, you switched to building the weather paradigm. I uh, support from here. Support from... Oh, he's independent. Hmm, tell you what. Shit. The hive... I'd like uh, the Deep Passages Scout Patrol to actually go to the factory maze and uh, be supported from there to uh, make sure that all of my bases are running at efficiency, which is pretty fucking amazing concept for uh, Chairman Yang. Let's go ahead and continue. Optimize. Okay, you still feel like doing that. That's fine. All right, who's producing the most minerals now? Would be you. Great. 43 turns. I'll get over it. That'll be fine. Sweet forced expansion. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So, build a forest there, forest there. Any rocky spots, I will go ahead and put mines on and save those for future boreholes. Uh, crap. Colony pod? Yeah. Uh, um, you. Support from here. Build... Colony pod? Yeah, I could squeeze in enough room. Yeah, it'll be fine. Something I want to do with Yang to uh, maximize his advantage is to build as many pa bases as uh, quickly and feasibly as I can. Which will uh, work to uh, his advantages with additional growth and all that jazz. Now, the land that I'll be expanding into is not stellar. It's not fucking amazing. Never mind. But it should suffice. For those of you who are a bit confused as to my mechanics here or what I'm doing, you've never seen the game before, never played it, uh, you can take a look at my first uh, playlist of this, where um, I go into this stuff pretty in-depth. And I spend a lot of time talking as opposed to actually doing shit. I know. I'm fucking uh, changing, changing the scene here, bitches. Twelve turns, god damn it. Would have really held if I could have gotten like some starting energy to uh, smooth that over. Maximize efficiency there. That'll be fine. Uh, I don't want to start building a network node yet, but I will remove that fungus so I can place a base there. Okay. Thinking borehole there later on the mining bonus. Yeah, that'll be good. But for the time being, I'll let a forest be there. Uh, go ahead and remove the fungus there. Uh, start roading to connect my places better. Uh, I can start roading here as well. To increase efficiency, I reckon. Guy and researchers have discovered secrets of the human brain. They got a free technology. Colony pod here has been finished. Uh, I guess uh, build another one of those. Shit. No... I guess start building that. And I'll change to uh, the Human Genome Project. Well, then again, if I plan on attacking her quickly... Damn, she built a perimeter defense fast. Mm, quick War. This is the antithesis of Quick War. I'm still too rusty at this. Shit! 
Go go ahead and build a base there anyway. Sweet. Um, what's next? What's next? I could do uh, nonlinear mathematics. Get a particle impactor for. I don't think I need that, but I will go ahead and grab planetary networks for the pro teams. I can infiltrate her data links over here. I should be able to do something about her. Uh, go ahead and build a road here. Uh, you build a road as well to better connect these cities. You can build a mine there. Um, let's see here. Command Nexus Weather Paradigm. Oops, I didn't really want you to build a road. Well, shit. It'll have to do. Change. Former. Game turn advantage by doing that. And then... Uh, I guess insert the scout patrol there afterwards. Build a road there. Oops. Mine there. Oh, Jesus. I have you building way too many. Stop that. Um... I guess, uh, start building a road to... I'm gonna put that next base here. So, yeah. I want you to go to this spot, then, and start foresting. Alright, everyone. I think that's t we'll take care of the first video. Accomplished quite a bit. Gone through, uh, quite a few turns. And, uh, I was really testing out to see how well this would record anyway. So, this is Grimace, signing out, uh, with Let's Get On With It, Alpha Centauri.